Hello friends, this video on motion and types of motion part 2 is presented by DikshaHub.com Learn with Fashion. Topics to be covered in this video are nonlinear motion, types of nonlinear motion, oscillatory motion, periodic motion, circular motion, and random motion, distance, speed, and practice problems. Nonlinear motion Friends, we all have seen the movement of the butterfly in the garden. It does not follow the definite path or straight path, so we can say this motion of the butterfly is nonlinear. So let's define nonlinear motion. The motion of an object that does not move in a straight line is called nonlinear motion. Examples of nonlinear motion are motion of the bouncing ball, motion of the animals roaming in the jungle, etc. Types of nonlinear motion There are four types of nonlinear motion that are oscillatory motion, periodic motion, circular motion and random motion. Let's study these types of motion. Did you know? What kind of movement does the pendulum of the clock showing in the picture? Here, we can see the pendulum always coming back and forth, and it is taking about the same time, for each oscillation. This movement is called oscillations of a pendulum. Let's define an oscillatory motion. When an object repeats the same movement, over and over from its mean position is called oscillatory motion. Examples of oscillatory motion are motion of the wings of a bird, motion of the needle of a sewing machine, etc. Periodic motion, we know the second hand of a clock completes one round, in exactly 60 seconds every time, such a motion is periodic motion. The motion of an object, which passes through a certain point again and again, after a fixed period is called periodic motion. Examples of periodic motion are motion of the merry-go-round, motion of the earth around the sun, etc. Circular motion, the motion of an object, along a circular path is called circular motion. Examples, motion of the hands of the clock, motion of the blades of the fan, etc. Random motion, can you identify, what kind of motion do the fishes in the tank are following? Here, we can see there is no definite direction of motion of fishes. So we can say its motion is random. Let's define random motion. The motion that changes its direction and speed continually is called random motion. Examples of random motion are motion of the bird, motion of the ants, etc. Now, let's see what is distance. Suppose, Rhea lives at place A, and she has to reach another place C, but first, she has to meet her friend, living at place B. Now, Rhea starts her journey from place A, and travels a distance of 2 kilometers to reach B. Then she travels another 1 kilometer from B, to reach at C. Thus, Rhea goes along the path ABC. And the length of the path ABC gives us the actual distance, traveled by Rhea. Thus, the actual length of the path covered by Rhea is 2 km plus 1 km is equal to 3 km. So the total distance traveled by Rhea from place A to reach at C is 3 km. Let's define distance, the actual length of the path, traveled by an object, during motion is called distance. Let's see, what is speed? If any vehicle is running slow, we say that its speed is low. And if any vehicle is running fast, then we say that its speed is high. Thus, 
the speed of a body gives us an idea of how slow or fast that body is moving here we can see blue car is running slow hence we can say its speed is low and the red car is running fast hence we can say its speed is high from the above discussion let's define speed distance traveled by an object per unit time is called speed from this we can write the formula of speed speed is equal to distance traversed divided by time required for traversing the distance unit of speed kilometer per hour meter per second etc let's do some practice speed of ram's bicycle is 5 meter per second he takes 30 minutes to reach on the playground from his house then what will be the distance between his house and playground step 1 to solve the given problem collect the data given in the problem total time taken t is equal to 30 minutes which is equal to 30 into 60 that is 1800 seconds and the speed of the bicycle s is equal to 5 meter per seconds step 2 understand what we need to find here we have to find the distance between house and the playground d is equal to how much step 3 solution first we have to write the formula of speed speed is equal to distance traversed divided by time required for traversing the distance now we write the formula of speed in terms of distance total distance traversed is equal to speed into total time taken now put the values given in the problem total distance between house and playground is equal to 5 meter per second into 1800 seconds thus the total distance between house and playground is equal to 9000 meter try the following problems thank you for watching this video for more information visit dikshahub.com